Well, it doesn't matter if you're in the city or the suburbs. Thieves, sometimes working in teams, are raiding business after business. Retailers and employees worry that things could get even more dangerous if Colorado leaders don't act. One woman in Denver says what she saw was mind-boggling. A crew of thieves swept through a store stealing everything they could actually get their hands on. She shared her video with CBS4 investigator Brian Moss. So, Brian, this is pretty shocking. Well, according to the retailers, they say this kind of organized crime mm -hmm. is really becoming more and more common in everyday occurrence. Retail theft is rising, driven by inflation and lesser consequences for property crimes. In Colorado, retail theft is now estimated to cost retailers about a billion dollars a year. And more and more, the thieves know there's a good chance they'll get away. It was earlier this month at this Ross store in Denver on South Colorado Boulevard. A crew of thieves stormed through, filling bags with whatever was close. They just have free reign. It's just a free for all. This shopper took video of the thieves running away without interference from store employees or security guards. We don't even intimidate them at this point. They just come in here and make sure they get what they want and then they leave. We went back and talked to manager Ashley Finley, who said she recognized two of the thieves as having done this repeatedly at her store. She says shoplifters hit this store three or four times every day. But she says corporate policy prohibits employees from going hands on. We can't touch them. We can't grab anything from their hands. We can't put ourselves basically in jeopardy. The result, higher prices for paying customers. And it's not just here. Lakewood police say they're looking for four thieves, targeting department stores in the metro area, allegedly stealing more than $12,000 in goods from eight department stores in just one month's time. And a statewide grand jury indicted an Adams County couple for allegedly stealing nearly $40,000 in merchandise from Home Depot stores in five counties. Loading up their bags, running out. We showed this recent video to Chris Howes, who runs Colorado's Retail Council. While House does not know who these people are and if they're part of an organized ring, he says the organized rings typically sell what they steal online, may be armed, and are raising cash to buy drugs. To have this break down culturally, where people can just storm into a store and take anything they want, I think it's a real breakdown in civil society that we all need to focus on. House says organized retail crime has increased exponentially. We know that the folks who are committing these crimes are very comfortable using weapons, which wasn't so much the case in, in the past. And that's what concerns this shopper. As this becomes more normalized, customers are at risk. Well-meaning armed shopper that, you know, sees something like that happening, doesn't know what's, you know, a, what's taking place and, and things could escalate and somebody could get hurt. The National Retail Federation says retail theft was up 26.5% last year, now costing merchants $95 billion a year. House believes the solution is more prosecutions and laws with more teeth. The uh, criminals who are uh, knocking off these stores for thousands, tens of thousands of dollars in product, um, do this so often that they know what the rules are. They also know what the felony thresholds are. Recently passed laws make it easier for law enforcement to target online sellers who are peddling stolen goods. As for store manager Ashley Finley, she's frustrated. Just that we can't do anything about it. I mean, we can't stop them. We can't grab anything from their hands. I mean, we just basically have to watch them and leave. We sent two emails to Ross's corporate headquarters but got no response. In other cities, this kind of theft has become so bad and so widespread, major retailers have actually closed their stores. And I should add, the woman who took that video, we darkened her face, she asked us to do that because she was concerned these criminals might find her. Yeah, you know, Brian, you mentioned that they, they want to work with lawmakers, try to get, you know, tougher penalties. But it sure seems like something needs to happen now. Well, I think the retail industry is in a really hard place, and they're just grappling with this now. They don't want pitch battles on their doorsteps between employees and people getting hurt. They also don't want to lose all this merchandise and all these billions of dollars. So the industry, I think, is just trying to get its arms around this right now and figure out what else they can do. It's a problem. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much.